Hey guys, it's Biggest AG Fan Ever here, back again. And as many of you guys know, I went to the January 1st reveal for Joss Kendrick. While I was there, I got an up-close look at all of the items in her collection. So I decided to share with you guys my brutally honest opinion slash review on Joss's entire collection. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any time that I upload. And be sure to follow my Instagram, it is underscore biggest AG fan ever underscore, so that way you can see behind the scenes of my videos. So let's get started. Last year, I made a review on Blair Wilson's entire collection, so I'm going to be using the same ranking skill as last year. American Girl asks their customers to review their products on their website by ranking them in each of these four categories. Age appropriateness, product appearance, play value, and quality. And I will be using those four categories and giving each category a score between 1 and 5 and then giving the product a total score by adding up the numbers and dividing it by 5. So let's hope that Joss's collection was better than Blair's. So first up we have Joss Kendrick herself. She retails for $98 and I love everything about her. I love the inclusivity of her hearing loss, I love her new face mold, I love her hair, I love her meat outfit, just everything. So because of that, I give her a 5 out of 5 for age appropriateness, a 5 out of 5 for product appearance, a 5 out of 5 for play value, and a 5 out of 5 for quality for a total of 5 out of 5 overall. I feel that she is one of the best girl of the years that American Girl has made in a while. Up next is her accessories, which retail for $30, and I love how many unique items come in her accessories and that they are not just all paper, so because of this, they get a 5 out of 5 for age appropriateness, a 5 out of 5 for product appearance, a 5 out of 5 for play value, a 5 out of 5 for quality, for a total of 5 out of 5 overall. Next is Joss's Infinity Cheer Backpack Set, which retails for $40. I love how many cute items come in this set and how they can be used for multiple different things. The only problem that I have is the bag is a rough glitter that can snag on items and the curling iron set is a little bit flimsy. So because of that, it gets a 5 out of 5 for age appropriateness, a 5 out of 5 for product appearance, a 5 out of 5 for play value, and a 3 out of 5 for quality for a total of 4.5 out of 5. Next is Joss's Cheer Team Jacket, and it retails for $15. I feel like $15 is too much for this considering that it is just a jacket, and it looks a lot like her meat outfit jacket. I know that it is an exclusive product, but knowing American Girl, they're probably going to make it not exclusive eventually. Because of this, it gets a 5 out of 5 for age appropriateness, a 4 out of 5 for product appearance, a 2 out of 5 for play value, and a 5 out of 5 for quality for a total of 4 out of 5 overall. Next is Joss's Cheer Competition Outfit, and it retails for $36. At the surface, this outfit looks really cute, but when you look at it closely, it has more problems than you would think. First off, the fabric is really thin, so it is known to snag on the velcro for the back of the outfit. The rhinestones on the outfit are also known to fall off. And when you raise the doll's arm above their head, it gets a weird poofiness because of the opening by their shoulder. Because of all of this, it gets a 4 out of 5 for age appropriateness since you have to be careful with that velcro, a 4 out of 5 for product appearance, a 5 out of 5 for play value, and a 3 out of 5 for quality with an overall score of 4 out of 5. Next is Joss's Bulldog with Life Vest, and he retails for $30. I think the quality of Murph is up there with all of American Girl's other pets. And he comes with a Life Vest, which is a nice touch. So he gets a 5 out of 5 for age appropriateness, a 5 out of 5 for product appearance, a 5 out of 5 for play value, and a 5 out of 5 for quality for a total of 5 out of 5 overall. Next is Joss's cheer practice outfit and it retails for $34. At first, I didn't really care for this outfit and I only really liked the slides, but when I saw it in person, I fell in love with it. I love how it's almost a two-in-one outfit and how the pieces can be used with other types of outfits. 
So because of that, it gets a 5 out of 5 for age appropriateness, a 5 out of 5 for product appearance, a 5 out of 5 for play value, and a 5 out of 5 for quality for a total of 5 out of 5 overall. Next is Joss's surfboard set and it retails for $50. I really love the colors of this set and how easy it is to use as well as the GoPro type item. However, you cannot put it in the water, so it kind of limits the set. Because of this, it gets a 5 out of 5 for age appropriateness, a 5 out of 5 for product appearance, a 4 out of 5 for play value, a 5 out of 5 for quality, for a total of 4.75 out of 5. Next is Joss's Shine Bright PJs, and they retail for $24. At first, I didn't really care for these pajamas, but the more I looked at them, the more they really do remind me of pajamas, so they're not that bad. So I give them a 5 out of 5 for age appropriateness, a 4 out of 5 for product appearance since they're kind of loud, a 5 out of 5 for play value, and a 5 out of 5 for quality for a total of 4.75 out of 5 overall. Next is Joss's Surf and Swim set, and it retails for $28. I really love the colors of this swimsuit and also how it is once again almost like a two-in-one swimsuit. I think everything on this swimsuit is amazing, so it gets a 5 out of 5 for age appropriateness, a 5 out of 5 for product appearance, a 5 out of 5 for play value, and a 5 out of 5 for quality for a total of 5 out of 5 overall. Next is my favorite outfit in Joss's collection and it is her Beach Vibes outfit and it retails for $34. This is like definitely how I look in the summer. I have so many outfits that look just like this. And I love that it comes with a hat. So obviously I have to give this set a five out of five for age appropriateness, a five out of five for product appearance, a five out of five for play value, a five out of five for quality, for a total of five out of five overall. Next up is the Sea and Lion Pup and it retails for $20. I feel like this item is kind of randomly thrown in her collection. I'm not really sure what you're gonna do with it besides maybe take pictures. So I have to give it a 5 out of 5 for age appropriateness, a 5 out of 5 for product appearance, a 2 out of 5 for play value, and a 5 out of 5 for quality for a total of 4.25 out of 5. Finally, there is Joss's cheer practice equipment and this retails for $60. I feel as though these items are really good quality. The stunt stand is very sturdy and will not fall over. And I really like how the wedge mat actually folds up, unlike the wedge mats in the gymnastics set. So because of this, I'm going to give it a five out of five for age appropriateness, a five out of five for product appearance, a five out of five for play value, a five out of five for quality, for a total of five out of five overall. So here are the final rankings for all of the items in Joss's collection. I have ranked them from the best item at the top to the worst item at the bottom. AA stands for age appropriateness, PA stands for product appearance, PV stands for play value, and Q stands for quality. So you can see that I think the best item is Joss herself and I think that the worst item is Joss's cheer competition outfit. Joss's entire collection receives a score of 61.25 out of 65, which equivalates to a score of 4.71 out of 5. So it is obvious that she did a lot better than Blair, who received a 3.5 out of 5 for her total collection. I believe that this is because the quality and the playability of these items are way higher than Blair's collection was last year. And I feel like overall people are more eager to buy Joss than they were Blair because she has a visible disability, which is the first time that a girl of the year has had one. So she is definitely way more inclusive and she has a new face mold, which makes her more unique. So overall, I feel like Joss is just more appealing than Blair was. So yeah, those were all of my brutally honest opinions on Joss Kendrick. Let me know down in the comments below if you agree with me or if you disagree with me. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe and ring the bell icon so that you will be notified every time that I upload. If you can, honestly still not sure what's happening with Kappa, but if you can't, go follow my Instagram. It is underscore biggest AG fan ever underscore so that you can stay up to date on all the latest news of my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.